Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials. Now, uh, in this video, we are going to learn how to hot swap our classes. I don't know if you noticed, but for all modifications that we have been doing, we were restarting the entire service. Well, that's pretty simple. Uh, here on the pom.xml, just add a new dependency. This dependency will be spring dash boot dash dev tools and as you can see it's coming from spring boot you don't have to specify the version because it's uh being defined inside of the starter okay so now that we have this there is another configuration that we have to do inside the intellij here on the application class just click on edit configurations and you have two options on frame deactivation, it means, for example, if you click somewhere outside the IntelliJ, it will auto-reload that. Or on update action, if you use the build here at the top, it will update that for you. So let's uh, see how that works. I'm going to tell here update class and resources. Honestly, I never use uh, these two. I, will, I always use update classes and resources. Then I'm going to apply. And I'm going to start the application. Okay, so if I go back to Anime Controller, uh, and I would like to change, for example, from DBZ to, and uh, if I refresh here, we still have DBZ, for example, Boku no Hero, and uh, I come back here, you will see that it's still DBZ and uh, Berserk the size here um, now since we changed it here to on update I can build so just press um, control F9 I think on Windows and as you can see one class was reloaded and the time 0 0.34 seconds so it's faster than just reboot the entire application that takes around I don't, it takes a 1.129 seconds. Now, once we refresh, we have the, the new value. But this does not work for everything. If you rename, for example, the method, that will not work. So if you build again, you'll see that the hot swap failed and you would need to change the entire, you uh, have to reboot the entire servlet container. But most of the time we are changing things inside the method and everything that we change inside the method. So just let me refresh here. For example, we still have these two. And uh, let's say that I'm going to add a new one. change here okay so now for example if um, I build again I'm not going to build I'm going to change here on frame deactivation update class and resources so I would just go back I will click right here outside and then once I go back to my class you can see that we have the things triggered automatically so this is what means on frame deactivation on IntelliJ and if we refresh we have now another value inside our our array so this is um, how it works so most of the time we will be using um, this because right now it doesn't matter if we just refresh the entire application by rebooting or uh, doing the hot swap because it's pretty small but once you have like a pretty decent size of a microservice it may take like five six seconds to start and uh, if you are doing like uh, active development you can save a uh, sometimes a couple hours per week. Okay, this is all I had to do in this class. So see you in the next video. Bye.